Mogwan Sanjuichi here. Welcome back to the channel. Of course, today is the 18th of May, and that means we're a day or two before the release of the latest Borta chapter, Borta chapter 58 to be exact for this month. And as we do here on a monthly basis on the channel, we talk about my expectations for the chapter, usually three days before the chapter drops. So not sure that means I'm late for this month's edition of, you know, Sanjuichi expectations, but it is what it is. It makes it more interesting for this month, especially since we have, you know, some initial information for the Borta chapter, courtesy of Organic Dinosaur here on my second screen over here. So at least the fun part is I'll get to see how much are, you know, how much my expectations align with the information that's actually coming out about the chapter. So that's going to be fun. Of course, if you're new here, welcome to the channel. You know, we do, you know, Borta content and all sorts of madness. Of course, returning subscribers, welcome. Naturally, guys, like up the video, subscribe if you haven't subscribed, all that YouTube jazz and blues. But, you know, without further ado, let's get into it and see what Organic Dinosaur has actually tweeted out about the chapter, which should be interesting going over this with you guys here. So, yeah, let's get right into it. So, she has a few tweets on it, but the one natural that caught me up my attention is this latest one where she mentions that it's a double spread in terms of the cover page, more than likely, which um, has code Ida Amado plus new team seven plus Shikamaru plus Naruto plus Sasuke plus new Inashika Cho plus Sumeri, which is, of course, interesting considering that. When it comes on to the manga, those are pretty much the central characters that hold the, the most importance. So, <laughs> so there's that. But of course, the juicy part of the tweet is naturally the chapter composition as she puts it here. Where it's 5% multi-character color cover, which obviously more like is these are these characters that she mentions up here. But of course, we have the first point here, the father-son drug chat, which obviously I am actually looking forward to because as I would have discussed coming from the latest, well, chapter 57 till now, the whole drug chat gives, it in, introduces some, I would say, emotional conflict between Naruto and Boruto, which would be interesting to see when within the confines of the manga. Um, give some more, you know, tension, some more conflict to occur between father and son, which is, of course, Naruto being a character we actually do care about, and Boruto, uh, the main character, but a character of the CM that we are learning to care more about. So that should be interesting. And of course, the whole, you know, Byakugan drugs, naturally. Um... You know, it's kind of like, uh, I forgot the narrative term for it. Is it Chekhov's gun? Where, you know, the story writer hangs something on the wall figuratively, well, metaphorically speaking, and he must make use of it. And of course, in chapter 57, we did have Amado mentioning that, yo, don't let your daughter and wife take these. So I'm feeling that that's going to come into play at some point. So that's going to be interesting to see, you know, how that works out. But I'm really looking forward to this conversation. But knowing Boruto though, and the fact that he was willing to actually, you know, I guess, can I say man up and sacrifice himself during the whole fight against, you know, Ishiki, I actually don't see him, I guess, dawdling or hesitating for too long regarding the Byakugan drugs more than likely. So, hence why more than likely this is 14%. Now... These last two points when it comes down to Kawaki versus Mitsuki and Sarada and Kawaki versus Boruto. Now, if I'm being honest, in terms of my expectations, I was looking at it like this. When it comes on to this chapter, considering when it comes on to chapter 56 and 57, we got a lot of... We got Naruto, we got the five Kages, we got stuff established with, you know, Code and Aida and, you know, the antagonistic team essentially we got Amado but we did not get Sasuke Kawaki or Boruto for the most part at least with chapter 57 so in terms of my expectations going to this chapter naturally I was thinking that it would make sense to actually switch over to build up stuff with the actual main character and Kawaki more than likely so if nothing else I was going into chapter 58 with that expectation so to have this chapter being Kawaki versus Boruto and Kawaki versus Mitsuki and Sarada I actually like that um, especially with the Mitsuki and Sarada because we know um, they haven't had any real action or anything 
with them like driving the plot along since the fight with Borong. I mean, they've appeared here and there, you know, since that fight, but really and truly, it's in mm, not in any grand quantity of you know panel time. So yeah, it's going to be interesting, especially considering that. Um, Obviously, there aren't any other details here, but more than likely, given what's happened with them through the fight with Boro, through what's happening with Boruto, through, well, through the fact that they actually got heavily injured in the fight with Boro, and they weren't really of any use in the, you know, the conflict against Ishiki, more than likely, their presence in this chapter is going to be, you know, serve as the means for them to... They're going to be showcased as being highly motivated more than likely in this chapter to kind of really push things to the next level in the preparation for the time skip for these characters. So that's essentially what I'm getting at. <laughs> so that's going to be fun and I'm looking forward to it. Naturally, with the Kawaki versus Boruto and the father-son drug chant, I think the whole interrelation between those two things more than likely. Um, and even though... Okay, let me get my thoughts straight here. In the Discord server, my Discord server, the cow ghost. If you're if you're watching, um, I didn't watch the spoiler information on the spoiler video that you sent, but based on the based on the title and thing, more like Momoshiki might be making a at least an appearance in this chapter. And given the fact that the drug chat is going to take place in this chapter, it would make sense to have something Momoshiki related to happen during the Kawaki versus Boruto section of the chapter, which is 41%, um, according to Organic Dinosaur, um, to tie that back into at least, you know, why Boruto is motivated to take the drugs um, in this chapter. So that's going to be very interesting to say the least. Um, and of course, we have that last section where she has Konohamaru and Naruto spectating training, which I also find interesting because we actually haven't seen Konohamaru within <laughs> the manga since when. So really and truly, I'm looking forward to seeing, you know, what Konohamaru is bringing back to the Boruto manga specifically because... We haven't seen him since chapter 26, give or take. So I'm looking forward to that. And more than like whatever Kishimoto comes with, more than like it's, it's because the Boruto manga and the Boruto anime has this kind of this kind of dynamic, this kind of relationship where you know the anime has a lot of spots from the manga where it can flesh out. And make the story more fulfilling more than like whatever they come with with konohamaru in this chapter the anime is going to tackle it at some point to you know accomplish what i always say at least establish a middle ground between content we want to see and for the manga to actually build up and get further ahead so yeah that's more than likely going to be the case so you gotta bear that in mind as well so there's that but I mean, for the most part, I'm liking where this chapter is going. Um, in terms of the emotional conflict, it seems like it might might be there. Um, I'm loving the fact that Mitsuki and Sarada are getting involved again. Um, there's a possibility that Momoshiki might make an appearance. Maybe, maybe. Um, Konohamaru is back, so that's interesting as well. So <laughs> it's going to be fun. Um, the only thing is I'm still sorry they aren't showing Sasuke. I mean, he seems like he's going to be on the cover page, but I would have lo loved to see him in the chapter. But I guess beggars can't be choosers. I guess probably not until chapter 59. So there's that. No. Boom, boom, boom. I mean, the way things are looking, we are kind of setting up for the time skip, like really and truly. With if I mean, if most of the chapter is training, then yeah, it does seem like there's only a few more things we have to kind of finalize on. Um, I would imagine we might get Sasuke and Kashin Koji in chapter 59. I mean, that's a premature. <sighs> that's a premature expectation, yes, but. I wouldn't be so surprised. Probably Sasuke, Kashin Koji, and Amaro for chapter 59. Um, Anting. So I'm probably a bit more of, you know, the Kara 2.0. 
so that's going to be interesting but for the most part i'm loving what i'm seeing from these initial you know spoilers <laughs> can, can i say that i guess uh, but yeah that's pretty much pretty much it in terms of my thoughts and my feelings um on it right now so yeah um we do have organ dancer mentioning something about kishimoto having a strange title but Guess we'll see once it drops. I'll leave the link to Organic Dinosaur's Twitter page here in the you know in the description box below, naturally. So there is that. Um, but I guess I'll end with saying this. <sighs> I'm looking forward to seeing where everything is going. Naturally, obviously. But it's like Boruto's evolution into the main character I feel a lot of us want him to be. It's, it feels like it's coming together slowly but surely and I think this chapter might go a decent way towards that even though it, I, I would say they've had made progress already but this chapter is I, I can feel it like it's going to make a, a nice jump to say okay a Boruto I, I see where Kishi is going with this I feel that like we're gonna be able to root and cheer for him at some point so yeah but anyway, um, Sandra Chia, thanks for tuning in. Let me know what you thought about my thoughts on these initial spoilers when it comes down to Borto Chapter 58. Should be fun. Um, <laughs> sorry, I can't stop looking at the, the characters that are supposed to be on the double spread. It's just funny. I, I just find it funny that those are the characters that <laughs> are essentially just the crucial ones for the Borto manga. <sighs> so, yeah. But anyway, thanks for tuning in, guys. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Um, it should be Tuesday for everyone, hopefully. <laughs> but yeah, rate, comment, subscribe, leave your thoughts, and I'll see you in the next Bordeaux video. Or if anything comes out later, maybe I'll cover it after work.